Hello YouTube, this is Stefan from Holland again. Uh, I did some previous reviews on rather cheap or cheaper knives. Uh, all non-American I believe. So just to show you that I'm not cheap myself and I do love American knives. I will show you some of my collection. In no particular order by the way. So this is the Almar. Special Forces knife. It comes with a real nice leather sheet. The Sorg Desert Dagger. Very nice home defense knife. Not allowed to take it on the streets. Here on 100 at least. This is a kayak sheet that comes with it. This is the Bill Moran featherweight. This one is with a leather sheet with a almost horizontal horizontal carry. I like this one a lot. It's very lightweight indeed. This is the Ontario Red 3. A nice, good, small bushcraft knife. Comes with a plastic or whatever sheet. The very big and bulky brother. This is the RD4, made by Ontario. Someone described it more as a tank. Well, I think he's right. I don't like the sheet though. It's, well, not to my liking. Some more SOG Special Operations Group. This is a knife that was well known during the Vietnam War. Not the original one, but the newer model. But it comes with a very nice black leather sheet. And they also made a, a rubber rubbery handle one. Comes with the Kydex sheet. Also, so. The Sog Seal 2000. I think you will know this one. Kydex sheet. The Cold Steel Recon Scout. I like this one a lot. It's very strong. Sturdy, good grip, secure X sheet, nice job. I do have several cold steels, including three Master Hunters and the Pendleton Hunter, etc. etc. Well, as for Spyderco pocket knives, I believe I do have some special ones. This is the first model Clip It Civilian. It's with the aluminium handle, rubber inlays, fully serrated. No longer available. Then there's two. This is the Lone Wolf. I hope you can see this. It's a provenator made by, well not made by, but the handle is made by Gary Blanchard. A limited edition, this one is the number 62 I believe. They belong in pairs. And they also have the other model, the Screaming Eagle. Also by Gary Blanchard, the handle. It's silver and bronze, both of them are. And this is the number 17. Uh, one I do like a lot is uh, Robert Terzuola. He is the first model Robert Terzuola, well, together with Spyderco, of course. More like a military style blade made of ATS 34 steel. 
also like the logo of course on this side Spyderco logo and on this side it's Adsnap and I have this one on my shoulder right here also the same one but slightly different because of the different style blade and also it has an aluminium handle instead of the G10 handle of course I have my military CPM F30V steel fully serrated I do own the Endura Special Air Force. This one is uh, with a black coating and the teeth are not so deep as, as normal ones. A bit more mild. Nice one. And uh, Wayne Goddard with the FRN, FRN handle. like the blade shape and the original Frank Santa Fanta at least the original first collaboration with Frank Santa Fanta and Spyderco so just some of my knives I own just to let you know that uh, I do own more expensive knives and I do like American knives also might be doing a review later on uh, Scandinavian knives. Okay, I hope you enjoyed. Take care for now. Bye bye.